Oh. Hey, hey, what's going on guys? The massive 160 scale, not necessarily perfect grade by name, but essentially like a perfect grade model kit here of the monument repair type has arrived, or I should at least say this one has arrived. So I am getting this kit a little bit early before the actual uh, full release of this. So a big thank you to the manufacturer for being able to send this out to me. But this is the new massive model kit here, which may look a little bit like a familiar mobile suit you might recognize. Now, if you guys have pre-ordered this kit and you're wondering where's yours, I believe the uh, estimated window of delivery is around the middle of October. Uh, this is going to actually be coming in stock, at least here at US Gundam Store. At the moment of recording this, it is almost entirely sold out. There are still a few pre-order slots available if you guys do want to pre-order it, but that's when the kit's going to be coming in. I got this a little bit early so that I can review it and share with you guys my thoughts about the kit. Now, we'll also be doing a live stream of this kit, so make sure to just follow me on social media to make sure that you don't miss that live stream. Even if you miss it live, you can watch the playback of it later. But like I said, this is 160 scale. It's in a pretty huge box here. As you can see, the box has a handle on it. So like I like to say, anytime the box has a handle on it, you know it's gonna be good. It's certainly gonna be large. We'll start off the video here just by taking a look around the box, then we'll dive into the contents for today's video. Let's go ahead, get right into it. So right here on the front, we've got this big CG render there of the, I wanna say mobile suit, but let's just say monument for the time being. And you can see the text over here is in this shiny sort of holofoil kind of printing there, which does look pretty cool. Around on the outside of the box, at least here on the top, the sides, the bottom, there's not really too much else to see. Some more nice CG renders here of the monument here on the side. You can just see it in some different poses basically. Around here on the opposite side, kind of the same thing there as you can see. But on the back, we do have some more images showing some more details. So over here, for example, showing about the inner frame, you can see like the core skeleton and then like the bulk of the inner frame after there's more parts added onto there. It looks like there's going to be quite a lot of parts added on. Go over here about the linkage, which seems to be basically just talking about some of the articulation points of the inner frame. Now the articulation points, the inner frame, it's not necessarily, in my opinion, like the best thing to show off on the outside of the box because sometimes the armor can inhibit that articulation. Now I'm assuming that's probably not gonna be the case, but in my opinion, if you're gonna show articulation on the box, it should be with the armor actually on. And then down here, we've got the back side of the inner frames. It's heavy to hold up. We've got the weapon, the shield, the Ares striker pack there, which is the backpack. You can see some more kind of gimmicks of the armor there. All right, so with that, let's go ahead and pop it open here. We're gonna have this big hefty tray of stuff. And there we go. There's our parts. So we'll take a look through the runners in just a moment. Looks like we've got some kind of like off-white, some very dark navy blue, some gray, a little bit of yellow, a little bit of red in there. Let's try to find some good stuff here. So this is from Nielsen Works, by the way, which you guys may remember. Uh, made previously in a kind of not a stray model kit. They made a couple different versions of that, but this base is immediately familiar because I believe this is either very similar or exactly the same base that they used for that kit, but it does certainly look familiar. Underneath here we do have the instruction booklet, which is quite the small little booklet here for such a big kit. It's a small book here. All right, taking a closer look here, it looks like this is a little piece of paper showing some amendments. So some of the uh, parts were labeled wrong in the main instruction book list. So just make sure to hang on to this just to make sure you don't get anything mixed up. But yeah, pretty small booklet here. There it is on the front and the back. Pretty straightforward. We got some more render images here on the inside of the manual. And that's gonna continue. Basically, this is everything that we saw on the back side of the box and some more renders like what we saw on the outside of the box here as well. So that's all good and well, but let's find here is our parts list up next. And then that actually it says page two or here's page three, four is still parts list. Construction is gonna begin on what is page five. But if we count those picture pages there at the front, this is actually page 13 that we're finally getting to the construction here. And it looks like we're gonna start off with the head and then the torso unit, the waist unit, and then the arms and the legs, weapons. And then finally we'll get to the like accessories, the shield and everything and then the base here is gonna be the last. So I don't think we've got any other stickers or decals or anything in here. I think it's just runners. So let's go ahead and check it out. 
Right, actually, just kidding. There are, of course, decals included. I just had to find them in the box full of runners, but if we take this out, it almost feels like actually two sheets. Let's see, yeah, it is actually two sheets of decals just because there's going to be so many. And taking a nice close look at these, it looks like some are going to be in dark gray. These uh, lighter gray ones are actually silver, like a shiny silver, so that's pretty cool. If you go down here, you can see we do also have some in red there as well. So it looks like primarily like gray, red, and then silver for the water slide decals. You can see a lot of caution markings, lining parts and things like that. And then also some of like the main logos and everything on there. So lots of decals to put on this guy. Getting into the runners then, runner A1, we have two of, a bunch of white armor pieces right here. And then runner A2 is following that up with some more white armor pieces. Runners B1 and B2, similarly, we have two of runner B1, one of runner B2 here. Runners C and D are gonna be here in black. Here's runner C1 and C2 there with a lot of nice detail on these parts, I will say. Actually, we have two of runner C2, and then we've got one of runner D1 and two of runner D2. Runner E is in a dark navy blue. We've got two of runner E1, one of runner E2. And then the next like 15 runners are all going to be inner frame runners in this kind of brownish gray color here like this that you can see here on runner F. Runner G is going to be a quite large runner here, and we've got two of these. There you can see some of that nice internal frame detail. Runner H as well, another quite large runner here with some of the large internal frame parts on there. Then we've got runners I1 and I2, which we have two of each of those. There's runner I1, again with some quite large pieces on there, looks like mostly probably for the legs. Runner I2 has some more frame parts on there, probably mostly for the arms it looks like. Switching up here briefly for a few smaller runners, runner J here is in a kind of bluish gray. Runner K is in an orangish yellow kind of color there for some nice accent bits. Runner L is in red, and runner M is in clear red. And some even smaller runners here, this is actually 1M, we'll come back to like the 1 runners in just a minute. And then you have runner N is this one clear blue part right there. And then runner O and runner 1O are going to be here for a couple more clear parts. Runner O there with the clear red heart. It's interesting, I'm not sure where that's going to go, we'll find out. Then we've got runner P, which is in the same color as the inner frame, but this looks like probably the connection arms for the shield and the weapon, the cannon. It looks like that's what those parts are for. And from here, we get into the one dash runner. So one dash A, it'd be one A, one B, one C, etc. These two, one A and one B, are gonna be here in a slightly off-white color there. Runner one C, we have two of for some more parts here in black. Same thing here for runner one D with some larger parts. This looks like probably some parts for the backpack, I think. I think that's a lot of these one dash runners, I think is probably mostly weapons parts, shield parts, and backpack parts, because here we have runner 1E, e, which we have two of for some more inner frame color parts. Runner 1F right there, and then runner 1G, we have two of these as well for some more brownish gray inner frame kind of colors. And actually this is a slightly different color there. It looks like it's a slightly lighter brownish gray color compared to these, so it will be at least have a little bit of slight two-tone color to the frame. Runner 1H is interesting as this is in a lighter bluish gray color there. And then runner 1i, definitely in that lighter color of the inner frame there, that lighter brownish gray. And then runner 1j is going to be in this clear sparkly orange here for our beam effect parts, which looks really nice. These are quite long too. Looks like the beam effect itself is going to be about 25 centimeters long, which is taller than a standard master grade there. And then runners 1k and 1l in red and some more of that yellowish orange color there. Lastly then, just the parts for the base. So like I said, this is the main base plate. Here we have these black parts, which will kind of go around the sides of there. And then this runner is going to be the main connection arm for the base. So it looks to be pretty hefty. So hopefully it should be able to hold up the kit quite well. But that's gonna do it for now, guys. Like I said, I'm going to work on getting all the parts ready to do a live stream of this build, which may take two live stream sessions. We'll see, it's gonna be quite the build. As you can see, there's a lot of parts. So I'm not sure if I'll be able to finish it in one sitting, but I will live stream the building process. Stay tuned for that. And then we'll have the review coming up after that. But again, if you guys wanna check out the kit for yourself, check the link in the video description to us at Gundam Store. First impression on this is that all the plastic uh, seems pretty good. 
you can tell that some of the parts are definitely more glossy than others. As far as how much of the kit is ABS uh, or not, it does seem to be mostly an ABS as far as I can tell, but it doesn't say on some of the runners, so I'm not entirely sure. And earlier I did mention the previous kits made by Nielsen Works in 160 scale. I don't have a lot of experience building those. I did start building one of them at one time, and I wasn't really too uh, happy with how the fit fitting process was going, at least with the parts that I built, which was like part of the flight pack. I'm not sure yet if the fit and everything is going to be better with this kit. It looks like it's probably going to be, uh, you know, that's typically how it goes with these companies. They do improve over time. So I'm assuming this one's going to be better. We'll find out in the upcoming videos. But for now, guys, thank you so much for all of your support, leaving a like, making sure that you're subscribed. I really appreciate it. And let me know what you guys are thinking about this kit in the comment section down below. I'll see you guys in the live stream. Later.